What is up YouTube? Welcome back. It's with you Technoboy and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your AV receiver. Well, I made a video long back uh, setting up the Pioneer AV receiver. But that video was kind of messed up because of the background music. So I'm making another video today of the Pioneer receiver and I'm going to do it in detail from setting up your speakers and the Dolby settings and the bass treble, all the stuff. So let's start. So first of all, this is the Pioneer receiver. You can see that's a Pioneer logo right there. So as this thing is already set up, so first of all, I've got to reset it. Then we can set it up. So for doing the reset, I got to follow these steps. it's all reset now so now it's uh, back to the factory setting like uh, when you get the new one so let's start first of all let me show you the remote this is the remote of this receiver okay let me give you a tip that uh, when you turn on the receiver but then the remote control other keys don't work then what you got to do is first press this receiver button right here press this receiver button once then the remote will work all the functions and all so now let's start from the speaker setting this is the home menu you can see press this button and go to the speaker setup and press ok the speaker setup and then again ok and he and here you can see f small means the front small speaker of course i have small speakers if you have large ones then you can select the large one by pressing this uh, right arrow button but i i don't have a large speaker i have small speaker so back to small and uh, then the lower arrow button center small surround small and then subwoofer yes it's done well, what kind of speakers i'm using i just told this to the receiver now back once and then press the down arrow button then come to the x over means the crossover press it it is set to the hundred by default so the best crossover frequency is 80 you can choose it by this arrow buttons left and right i said 80 that's 80 so all the low frequencies below 80 hertz will go to the subwoofers and the other ones to the all the channels so that's it now again back x over down now this is a channel level this is test tone and it's set to manual but if before you do it you need to set the distance of the speakers and then you can set the channel level so go down speaker distance press enter and this is the default settings for all the speakers left 3 meter center 3 meter R 3 meter surround 3 surround left 3 subwoofer 3 all are 3 meters so let me set mines I have left one at 3.4 meter and center at 3.6 meters just because the center is uh, right above the projection screen that's why the center is at a bit more distance and then go down right 3.4 right channel 3.4 so left 3.4 center 3.6 right 3.4 and now come to the surround right 
I have them at 1.6 meter so let's go down okay 1.6 meter now surround left the same 1.6 meter now let's go to the subwoofer well my, sub, my subwoofer is like approximately at 3 meter distance so let it as it is so first of all you gotta measure your speaker distance from your listening position like wherever you are sitting and watching movies or listening to the music from there you gotta measure the speaker wherever they are front center left all of them surround subwoofer and then uh, set it up here just like this I did left 3.4 meter that's my setting center 3.6 meter right 3.4 surround 1.6 surround left 1.6 subwoofer 3.0 all right now let's go back and now come to the channel level now I can check it here the test tone So if you can hear the noise coming from the left that's from the center that's from the right speaker that's from surround right and that's from surround left and my subwoofer is turned off so let it be so the testing is done we're going to check that and set that without coming to the main menu i'm going to tell you that uh, later so now let's go back channel level is done uh, so the speaker setup is done now let's go now this is the input assign if you want to give a name to the input then uh, you can do it here oh, i don't need that is APT the auto power down now HDMI set if you are using HDMI then you need to press enter and then here you can see ARC is off ARC means the audio written channel so if you want it you can turn it on by pressing right or left button and uh, if your receiver is connected to the TV then the ARC function will make your job easy so, so you turn on the TV and the TV will turn on your receiver so that's the function that's it nothing else here let's go back alright so the basic thing is done now let's go to this audio parameter you can see this cross button here sound delay we don't need the sound delay ML off uh, ML I forgot the full form of it like if you are watching a movies or something you can turn this thing on so the loud sound and the low sound all will be balanced like that now sound retriever you need to turn this on sound retriever right now next channel 1 so means the only one channel is on you need a stereo press this button channel 2 again now here you can see channel 1 and channel 2 so you're getting stereo in use so you can make 5.1 or whatever from the stereo so you gotta set to channel A1 and channel 2 by pressing these two buttons now let's go back face PCM is off you don't need this unless you are listening to the old audio CDs something like that next is DRC auto now this is the very important thing DRC means the dynamic range control uh, something like that also what this thing does is it balance the uh, loud sound and the low level sound in a movies or something like that 
like you are watching a movie and uh, all of a sudden a loud explosion is there so that sound is like uh, very loud so this thing will adjust that you can set it like uh, it's set to auto you can set it max mid and off if you want real theatrical experience then you need to turn this to off just like this okay now let's move on to next just ignore this thing this one too now here HDMI amp that's the setting you can set it right there HDMI through HDMI amp if you select the HDMI through like the audio and the video all will go through the receiver to the output device like projector or TV but if you select the HDMI M then the audio from the HDMI will go to this receivers amp and you can hear the sound from the speakers output now next is audio delay it uh, needs to be off sound delay off okay now there is another thing need to do but before that you need to select the surround from this LC right there like it's set to stereo and go to Dolby Pro Logic and the Dolby PL to movie and Dolby PL to music okay you, you need to select the Dolby PL2 music for the best movie experience like I told you in another video of this thing uh, if you didn't watch that you can go there and find the video from my playlist uh, follow my steps here and now as I selected PL2 as it, it's uh, lighting up right here so now again go to this audio parameter button now go down 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 now here you can see the panorama you need to turn this thing on by pressing this button and the dimension and the C light these are in the panorama settings so first you need to turn the panorama on then the dimension would be zero these dimensions are for the surround speakers and the center width needs to be at zero so center wide at zero dimension at zero and panorama is on See, so you do this setting and all the vocals mostly will come from the center speakers just like you hear in the movie theater and then according to the movement of the uh, object or character talking in the movie like left to right and come close according to that the voice will move to through the front right left and the surround speakers but mostly the voice will come from the center speaker just like the movie theater so that's the best setting and uh, now the treble button is here bass button is there that's very easy now the next thing is current thing is here you can see level minus level plus and channel select this six nine and enter these three buttons are very useful you can change the volume level of uh, any speakers by using these three buttons you don't need to go to the menu and select the speaker setup and all the stuff just pressing this button the channel select number six then level up and level down 9 and enter let me show you here you can see see left 0 and going up 
going down and press again C center right surround right surround left subwoofer going up pressing enter going down just like this it's very simple these three buttons are very useful when you are watching movies or uh, anything like you can increase the vocal by pressing this button center and then go up just like that so so that's a very nice thing and uh, easy accessible buttons just three of it right there and advanced surround is right there that's not much of useful you can use this when you're listening to some kind of songs or if you're watching like soccer or cricket like that and except that this advanced surround is not uh, that much useful the standard surround the PL2 music as I told you set your receiver to that and you'll get real theatrical movie experience at your home so that's the basic setup of this Pioneer AV receiver and uh, if you have any question or if you didn't understand any of my words or anything like that you can comment below and definitely I'll try to solve your problems so thanks for watching again see you in the next video bye bye